Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. In the previous video, we calcul calculate everything in here. We're now up to calculating WT, the total weight of our structure. The total weight of our structure is given as the sum of all the weights on each floor. Now the weight on each floor is given in 6.2.2, where the weight on each floor is the sum of the gravity loads plus the sum of a combination factor live load. The combination factor psi c is found in table 4.1 of AS1170.0. So table 4.1, we're looking at an office space. Psi c is that term there. So we're looking at 0.4. So psi c is given as 0.4. Now just to remind you of what our problem looks like, we have a slab like this. Our columns are 500 by 500. Our beams are 0.42 deep and 0.45 wide. There's just two different sections, one along the edge, which is that section there, and in, inside of the structure, which is that section there. Our building looks like, like this. It's six stories high. Each height is 3.5 meters. So the first thing we're going to be doing is for working out the G, the dead load, on each floor. It's going to be the addition of the sum of the slab, beams, and columns, just to show you why. If we look at an arbitrary section, say this level there, we have on that level the slab and beams and the columns above it. And then we'll go to the next level and see the same thing, slab and columns and beams. So for the slab, what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be working out the um, volume of each one, the volume of each component times the unit weight, so area times density is volume, so area times depth is volume, times by gamma, which is kilonewtons per meter cubed. So kilonewtons per meter cubed times meter cubed gives us kilonewtons, and that'll be the dead load. So for the slab, this area is 26 by 26, will give us the square. So 26 by 26. We need to subtract off this little triangle. That area of the triangle will be 8 by 8 by 0.5, times by the depth of the slab, which is 0.23, times by the gamma of concrete, which is 25. So working that out, would be 26 squared minus 0.5 by 8 squared, times by 0.23, times by 25. 